Alright guys, <clears throat> so I'm going to bring you something a little bit different today on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, usually uh, I'm flying paramotors uh, on this channel, but uh, this is Flight Simulator 2020. So if you're not familiar with this simulator, uh, pretty easy to just Google it. It's a really popular simulator right now. There's a bunch of videos that can do a lot better justice than I can for this. So full reviews, settings, how-tos, things like that. But today we're going to be doing just a quick flight in one of my favorite airports. So um, we'll be flying the Icon A5 just because people seem to like this aircraft. In real life it's probably pretty cool but it's stupid expensive and not all that practical. But this is Johnson County Airport in Mountain City, Tennessee. Uh, and this is actually the site of a really awesome paramotor fly-in. So uh, it was obviously canceled this year due to COVID, so I'm doing it virtually. Um, but this is an amazing airport to fly paramotors out of. Uh, we set everything up and basically camp at this airport for uh, four or five days and fly every day you can. We actually set the uh, Resurgence PPG-10 up right here last year. And uh, I flew out of this field. There's a stream right here. It's beautiful. Oh, this looks identical to what it does in real life. It is, it is amazing. This game or this simulator is is really awesome. This ditch is here in real life. People were hitting this last year. <laughs> we're camping in this field. Amazing. Anyways, let's get in the air. We'll go over my uh, computer specs, thoughts on the simulator, problems I've been having so far, and um, everything like that when we get in the air. So, Icon A5 startup procedure, super simple. I'm not going through the checklist. I'm just going to show you guys what I do. So, step one: turn your fuel on. Um, your master powered on here, everything's good. Check your control surfaces. Actually, you can't see them out that way. There you go. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, ailerons are good. And we'll start it up. Okay, turn my parking brakes off. I haven't figured out how to get the pushback to work. I can do it in big airports with ATC, but it's supposed to be shift P and it doesn't work. This guy doesn't want to push you back, so there's another dude right here to my way, so someone's getting run over. This guy's coming with a forklift. What the hell? What's he doing? Anyway, alright. We will do the ATC communications though, so we'll tune the airport. Six Alpha Four. And we will announce our taxi. 6 Alpha, 4 traffic icon Alpha Sierra, X-Ray Golf Sierra is taxiing to runway 24. Try to go around that guy, but I'm sure I clipped him with the wing. Okay, so simulator settings. I have uh, progressive taxi turned on. I have, as far as physics go, it's set on full reel. So all the physics are real, no assist there. I have auto mixture turned on, but that is it. And that's only because uh, the controls I'm using, I don't have a mixture level lever. Uh, and I don't want to be looking down, hunting for mixture while I'm trying to fly. So, auto mixture is the only thing I have turned on. And then I have the you know, waypoints and uh, progressive taxi turned on, which I will probably end up turning off pretty soon. But uh, it helps, especially with the new simulator, because none of the controls are the same as uh, FSX. So I'm trying to get used to all the all the buttons and new controls, things like that. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, but it's just taking a little while to get used to. Uh, as far as control surfaces, or controls that I'm using, not control surfaces, uh, I am using a Microsoft uh, Force Feedback Sidewinder 2 on my joystick. Uh, it's got built-in throttle. It's not great. I'd like a HOTAS throttle and then still use this stick eventually, but uh, everything is sold out because of this game right now. So, um, And then I have rudder pedals, which are a must-have, and they're just the... I think they're called like CH something rudder pedals. I don't know. This airplane has a terrible turning radius, but we'll get lined up with the runway here. And we will announce our takeoff. Six Alpha, four traffic icon Alpha Sierra, X ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 24 right touch and go. Quick check on everything. I guess I should use my landing and taxi lights here. Lined up. Close that, and we'll get going. Full throttle. 
airplane actually is rolling to the right or left a little bit, which is pretty realistic. It's 55 knots. Rotate there. Just rudder to compensate. And we'll pitch for 65 knots on climb out here. Bring our gear up. Show you what that looks like. Pretty awesome. And I will tell you guys, I've flown here well, just one weekend, but I did a ton of flights, and this looks identical to what it does in real life. That's awesome. Sit up a little bit so you see over the panel. Okay, so what we're going to do today is fly out to, I think it's Watoga Lake. I'm not sure the name, I think that's it, but there's a lake out here right over that ridge. Uh, we'll fly out there, do a little water landing, shut down, check it out, and then we'll fly back to the airport. So I've done this flight in real life on a paramotor. Um, we actually did, did it a few times, but we did a, a little cross-country flight, probably four or five of us. We flew um, Kilo uniform, Kilo Foxtrot, right. generic November Niner, four Niner zero, taking off runway one, departure to the north. Flew uh, through this little pass here around this mountain range. It's not a mountain range, this mountain, hill, or whatever, and then back to the airport. Uh, it took about almost two hours, probably a little under that, on, on the paramotors, but we only fly about 25, 30 miles an hour. We were screwed around, too, so much faster than the aircraft. So, like I said, the lake's going to be right over this last ridge here. But this is amazing. So you can see I have MSI Afterburner running up here. Uh, just to show you guys what, what my system's doing. I've got uh, a 9th Gen i7 and a my, my GPU is a 2080 Super, GTX 2080 Super. And I've got 16 gigs of RAM right now. I've actually got a nicer PC coming. This is a nice PC, but um, I've got a better one on its way. It should be here in a few weeks. It's a 2080 Super, 32 gigs of RAM, a 10th Gen i9 some other little nice upgrades. Actually, one of the cooling fans on, on this PC just went out the other day, so it's running a little warmer than usual. The CPU is at 76 degrees. GPU is running at 70. Um, but it's not overclocked. I've got all the settings on the simulator at Ultra. And it runs great. I'm consistently running 60 frames a second, which I have it limited at, actually. Maybe I can even turn that down a little bit. 60 is really smooth. Anything over 30 or around 30, I'm happy with. So there's a lake ahead of us. Go ahead and reduce throttle and start descending towards it. Get bumped all around from this turbulence. This would be pretty rough in a paramotor, probably. So issues I've had with this simulator so far, um, it's crashed a few times, there's ways around it, but if you, a lot of times if you click reset on a flight, like if I want to reset this flight back to the airport, that'll, that'll freeze, or if you want to advance in any type of uh, like flight training, like by clicking next, it seems to crash the game and kick you out. So you just have to go back to the main menu uh, to, to continue. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's something with my PC, but... It's annoying, um, but like I said, there's workarounds. And then the biggest annoyance is autopilot. So this plane doesn't have autopilot, but all the planes that do have autopilot, the altitude doesn't work, and there's problems with the VNAV and things like that that it, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating since all of the planes are new to me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if there's a bug in the game. So um, it's just even more annoying because of that, but... All right, we're coming in for landing here, so I'm going to put in first notch of flaps right there. Double check that our landing gear is up, which it is right here. i got to turn this, this off. That is annoying. I don't know what that is. Second notch of flaps. We will use power to idle and descend. Here we go. Start our flare. 
and just let it settle. That AOA indicator on this plane is really helpful, actually. Nice soft landing. Flaps up. So the water effects are pretty awesome. This is only 1080p, by the way, but the water effects are amazing, but there's no wake. I wish there was wake behind your plane. I don't know if that's a setting I have turned off or what, but kind of takes away from the realism a little bit. There you go. So that's a water landing. We'll just go ahead and shut everything down real quick. So you can hear all the sounds. Awesome. Mountain City, Tennessee. See the graphics are amazing. It even has fingerprints and scratches on the windows. It's so awesome. Look at that. Pretty cool. Go back in the cockpit and turn the master on. Turn all the lights on real quick. Okay, they're all on. Cool. Icon has those LED lights in the front for landing lights. It's pretty cool. All right. Go back in and get started up and head back to the airport. So, I'll show you guys this too. This is pretty cool. They have this Garmin and a few of the planes in the simulator, but it's got 3D vision on it which is awesome. Map, go to nearest, find our airport, Johnson County, direct to, activate. Again, there's no autopilot, so you just have to use this as a nav aid, but it's pretty cool. You can click and drag around the map. Zoom in and out. Pretty awesome. All right. We are good to go. Put our water rudder down so we can taxi. Don't want to take off with that down, but start go Double check everything there's only one fuel tank on this aircraft so you don't have to worry about that no balance issues we'll get going get everything lined up bring our water rudder up it's a transit you can see here once that's up we're good to go so we'll go full throttle using uh, rudder and ailerons to keep this straight. It's on plane right there. It's 55 or 50 knots right there. Pull back on the stick. And I'm going to pitch for 65. all fingerprints on the window there. <laughs> That's so cool. start heading back. We center our aircraft here on our GPS. at that man scratches on the window everything actually that we're not really taking very care of this plane <laughs> I'd be pissed if I dropped 250 grand on an icon 
windows were all scratched up. This is an amazing place to fly in real life. If you're a, a pilot in any capacity, you have a chance to fly out in uh, Mountain City, Tennessee here. It's a, it's a good one. A lot of times in the mornings, you get uh, really low clouds, uh, which are in Class G over that airport. And visibility requirements for Class G and clouds are just clear clouds, so you can skirt all around them. And it's a blast, especially in a paramotor when you can fly 25, 30 miles an hour. It's the same feeling. I've actually got some videos of me flying in Mountain City, Tennessee, in real life on this channel. If you're interested in that, just go ahead and search my channel for it. Um, you can actually see this airport in real life and see this area in real life and see how close it is to what it is in the simulator. Man, I'm getting knocked all over the place. It's a pretty cool feature of the sim, actually. Watch as I get close to this mountain here. See the plane jerking around? It's that way in real life, too. Um, this any amount of wind you get rotor over these mountains. Um, you have to space, pay special attention to this kind of stuff when you're flying a paramotor. Just because you can get wing collapses and um, can get pretty dangerous. Alright, so I will announce my position here on ATC. Tune, Johnson County Airport, select the runway for landing. I'm just going to come straight on runway 6. I should enter the pattern and come in on runway 24, but in the essence of time, I'll just come in on 6 since we're almost already lined up for it. It's actually going to announce for a landing on runway 24. 6 Alpha, War Traffic Icon Alpha Sierra, oh, X-Ray Golf Sierra is on final runway 6 to land. Somehow it knew. Alright. Okay, so... Gumps check. I'm doing it in my head, but... Here, gas on the right tank, undercarriage, all that. Bringing our first... Of flaps. Check that our gear is down. It is. Second notch of flaps. Set up. Uh, sorry, here I gotta center my view real quick. There we go. Little off center line here, but I actually think I got some crosswind. I do, I'm gonna have to correct for that when I get down there. Reduce power to idle, got the runway made. Oh, yeah, we got a crosswind for sure. Bring in some rudder to straighten it out, and we will let her come down. Kind of hard and off center line, but take it. Try to make this first taxiway here. There you go. Moonshiners fly in 2020. We will just taxi to parking right here. Seems convenient. Right by the fuel. Okay. And engage our parking brake here. Master off all our lights. And engine off. There you go, guys. Um, so if you're new to the channel, if this flight sim brought you new to it, usually I fly paramotor in the channel. If you're into that, go ahead and check some of those videos out and uh, like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Tom Kubot. And um, 
if you're into this kind of content, if you're a subscriber of the channel and you like this flight simulator content, comment down below. Let me know. Um, it's another hobby of mine, so happy to record my gaming and show you guys if you like. But I'll leave that one here. Just one final reminder that we are working with the guys at Fly PPG uh, out in Quincy, Illinois. If you're interested in learning how to fly paramotors, we are giving away free paramotor training. All you need to do is show up if you win the contest and they will provide gear and teach you how to fly. It's a week-long uh, class. Uh, all you have to do to enter is go to flyppg.com and scroll down to their store. There's a TK training raffle t-shirt. Any purchase of a shirt enters you into the raffle to win. I think shirts are 10 bucks plus shipping. So if you guys are interested in learning how to fly paramotors and you want to come to the Moonshiners flying at this airport next year, um, be sure to check that out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Tom Kubot, and uh, all that jazz, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.